Hi guys, welcome to the 20th video of the Love Bubber series. I am so grateful for all of you that you have supported me and I have made 20 videos in this series so far, continuously. So I hope you all are enjoying it. If you have not yet watched the videos, uh, please do watch it. I will put the link of the playlist in the description. You can also find the questions link over there. We have done arrays, matrix and strings. We are halfway. And thank you for your support. And uh, today's questions are uh, longest common subsequence, second most repeated string, minimum swaps for bracket balancing. Now, longest common subsequence, I will tell you one thing. There is a person on YouTube called uh, Aditya Verma. Okay. He has a DP playlist. Some 50 videos are there. Go and watch his entire DP playlist. You will understand everything. Longest common subsequence is most fundamental problem. It will be asked or it will be, you know, parent problem for many uh, problems. So I suggest you go and learn the entire uh, this thing DP from that YouTube channel only. So just go to this channel and you will get it. So if you already know how to, I think it will be known for many people. It's a very, very common question, longest common subsequence. So if you still don't know what is a subsequence, subsequence, longest common subsequence, let me just give an example. Okay, so if it is A, B, C, D and A, C, D, B, then longest common subsequence will be A, C, D. We take A, we take C, we take D. Okay, and from this string, we take this. So longest common subsequence is something like this. And how do we approach this kind of problems? Well, if we want to understand the recursive part, recursive part is nothing but, you know, we just uh, consider the last characters of both the strings. Okay, we just consider last characters of both the strings. If they are equal, then we recursively call for the remaining characters. Like if the string length is S, uh, string length is n and m, we recursively call for n minus one and m minus one. If this condition is false, then what we do? we check for n minus one m and n m minus one. If you want to go in depth and understand properly, I just watch that Aditya Verma video. You will completely understand. There is nothing else better than that. Just go and watch that. It is the best video on this topic. So I will be wasting your time if I tell you, because if you go there only, you will understand properly because I learned it from there only. So, once you learn it from him, you will know the code by yourself. Nothing much to do. Now, next problem, second most repeated string in a sequence. This is an implementation problem, okay? And uh, actually, there is one small thing to note over here. No two strings are second most repeated. That is, there is only one string that has second most repeated. So can you improve the space complexity? Like in my case, I'm taking, uh, you know, extra space, like there's something like mapping concept only I'm doing, but uh, slightly different from map. So it's without taking extra space, can you do it? Like this problem, you can easily do it uh, with extra space, right? See, already 18,000 submissions are there, easy category. So you can do it with extra space very easily. But what if you cannot use extra space? Is there some other method? If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. I feel what we can do is uh, just take the frequencies, okay? Just take the frequency of all the characters. Just take the frequencies and store it in a vector. But this also will be, this also will be O of N space complexity. So I don't know anything better than this. Can you tell me something better than this? Because I am not getting anything better than this. So please tell me how to improve the space complexity of this problem. 
time complexity is easy and everybody can do this second most repeated string the question itself will tell you how to do it it's implementation problem so let me know in the comments okay now next question minimum swaps for bracket balancing basically we will be given 2n characters and there will be equal number of opening bracket and closing bracket and we have to you know we can only swap the adjacent characters and for, we have to find minimum number of swaps needed to make the string balanced remember adjacent characters only can be swapped so what did i do i took a variable called count which will give the total count and a variable called bracket whenever i got a closing bracket i did bracket minus minus if bracket value became less than 0 that means that many number of swaps i have to do the absolute value of that i have to do that many number of swaps so i put i uh, stored it in count and incremented bracket if the if it is an opening bracket then you do bracket plus plus and then directly print count i don't know how to make you visualize this you have to take pen and paper and do it by yourself very very easy solution in gfg they have given slightly different i did not understand it i had already solved the problem so i am telling you that solution just take a variable bracket okay if you get a opening bracket then you just increment bracket value bracket plus plus if you get a closing bracket then do bracket minus minus and if bracket value is less than 0 then what you do is you add absolute value of this bracket value to the count variable and do bracket plus plus so this problem is very simple actually okay we have done lot of problems on this bracket balancing this is the one which does not require any other data structure this is o of n complexity and o of 1 space complexity so i hope i was able to make you understand this code just write by yourself run it in your editor and check it then only we will get a better grip on this problem and uh, please share the videos if you like it and do like uh, just hit the like button and uh, please spread it with all your friends so you have been showing me lot of support please continue to do so and uh, i am really thankful for all of you please uh, subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one have a good day bye